Hello, I'm Lisa Logan, and today we're going to do the second part of the second long box, swimming here on the reformer. So as I mentioned in the grasshopper video, I'm going to show you the transition from grasshopper to swimming. And then um, in the next video, I'll show you from swimming to rocking just so you have that. We also have these on the flashcard deck we made for the reformer exercises on onlinepilotesclasses.com. So what you're going to do is get into this exercise from grasshopper. You finish your last one and you just slide back until you're in a spot where your center is supported, right? But that doesn't mean like I slide so, so like only this far back so my legs are on but my chest is off. You want to find a happy medium that's challenging for your chest, also challenging for your legs, okay? So then what you do is you take your tailbone, you reach it long, <laughs> arms reach out, and then you lift those arms up to lift your back up. And I'm swimming up, 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 up. But you want to make sure the energy isn't stiff in the legs and the arms. Keep the arms and legs long and reaching and not like, oh my God, I'm swimming from a shark. Just swim like you're in Maui. Swim, swim, swim. Two to three cycles of breathing, so about 10 sets. And then you're going to just reach back and grab your legs for rocking, which I'll show in the next video. If you are doing a smaller reformer workout and you're going to do other things in your Pilates practice, you don't have to do the second long box. There are other places to swim, like on the mat, other places to grasshopper or rock, but it is nice that you have this option if you're just doing a full reformer workout. So again, it goes grasshopper swimming and in the next video I'll do rocking. If you want to experience this in your body in a flow class, then join me at onlinepiletesclasses.com where we do life better.